I'm Oliver Dudok van Heel. I'm a fellow at CISL. Uh, I've had the pleasure of working with CISL for the last 15 years. I'm based in the UK. Um, and a lot of my work with CISL has to do with uh, teaching. So I teach on executive programs, on postgraduate programs, um, various topics uh, around sustainability strategy. But the area that I'm most passionate about is really around sustainable economies. What, you know, what does a sustainable economy look like? And what are some of the narratives that prevent us or help us in getting to a place where we have a more sustainable economy? So I'm a, a strategy consultant focusing on sustainability. I work with companies across all sectors. I mean, I focus particularly on finance and private equity, but I work in other industries as well. And I would say that there are challenges, um, but the, the phase of seeing sustainability as a challenge is kind of past for most organizations now, except you know, at, the, at the scale that we work with the larger corporates. Um, because they're understanding, they know that regulation is catching up, they know that investors have certain requirements, they know that customers have certain requirements. What they need to do is identify how they as a business can move forward taking all that into account. And for them, therefore, it becomes a space of opportunity, which is why the, the narrative around sustainability in the conversation has shifted from, say, the chief sustainability officer or the chief risk officer to the CEO. Um, and, and it's very much a opportunity-driven narrative. It's looking at how can we become a more successful, more profitable business by doing this well. And I think that's really exciting. So the way I see CICL driving system change is by helping reshape the narrative for business. Uh, because what we're seeing here is, is an external environment that's changing dramatically because of pressures that are being felt. Uh, uh, pressures from investors, from regulators, from customers, etc. And, and what companies need to, to do is, is be able to frame those pressures in a way that makes sense to them, but that fit within a wider system, so that their response are appropriate to the systemic challenges that we're facing. CSL is very strong in helping drive that type of narrative in the way that they've done previously with the rewiring the economy report. That's really a key role I see for CSL going forward. Uh, there have been quite a few examples of sustainability in action uh, that have impressed me, but I think the one I, I'd, I'd probably want to highlight is, is the city of Cartagena in, in uh, Colombia. So I was in Colombia uh, just under a year ago, um, and what, what I saw about Cartagena which really impressed me is that they have taken a nature-based approach to the city in itself to enhance well-being, to you know, bring more nature in. But in doing that, what they've also done, because it's, it, a lot of it is around in, enhancing tree growth across the entire city, you know, where motorways are, there are trees, etc. They have managed to reduce the ambient temperature of a city that can get very hot in the summer by two degrees just because of greater tree canopy. And of course, that greater biodiversity, nicer environment for people to live in. I think it's a wonderful, exa wonderful example where you get environmental and social outcomes in one fell swoop.